Yeah, so I'm a professor in the chemistry department at MIT. I am also a member of the Koch Institute and the Broad Institute. Um, I've also been involved over the years at the Center for Environmental Health and Sciences. Um, I came to MIT really excited about the convergence of engineering and, and innovative science. Um, and that's what really drew me. I did my postdoc at Harvard Medical School across the river with Professor John Collieres studying anthrax toxin, trying to understand how infectious agents such as anthrax toxin or cholera toxin, botulinum neurotoxin actually infect cells at the molecular level. And through those interactions, I, uh, I certainly uh, heard a lot about MIT and was able to interact with people here. And, it's always fascinating wanted to be a, a member of, of the team here and so in, in many ways I, I'm very fortunate to have had that experience as a postdoc across the river but super excited to start here as a professor in 2011. Uh, before my postdoc I actually did my PhD uh, in, at the University of Chicago in organic chemistry investigating how we can actually use chemistry to make peptides and proteins and that's Really, these two areas influenced me strongly in terms of my efforts at MIT that are underway right now. Yeah, so I've, since my early days in my education, I ultimately wanted to be an organic chemist. I actually wanted to go in the laboratory, uh, use experiments uh, to actually build molecules at the molecular level. Um, I found that fascinating. And through my journey at University of Chicago, I met a professor that said, Brad, do you actually know uh, proteins are natural products? and my laboratory actually makes them. And so immediately I jumped in. I said, I want to actually make proteins using chemistry. I thought that was fascinating. Proteins are the molecular machines that allow us to live. And so I thought at some level, if we could understand them with molecules, then perhaps in the future we could design them, design them with computers, design them in the laboratory. And that's exactly what's going on now. But through those efforts at University of Chicago, I learned a lot of chemistry but I didn't learn about biology. And so for me to bring together my education, I thought I should go do a postdoc trying to understand biology. How is it that infectious disease actually works? How is it anthrax toxin, for instance, infects a cell? That really allowed me to connect the dots between chemistry and biology. And so that's a big part of me and how I actually built my research program at MIT, which is how do we think at the molecular level how do we design and understand molecules and then translate that into some meaningful um, aspect, hopefully that would affect a human being. So a big part of my group has always been to look at nature. How does nature actually solve a lot of the problems that we think about in terms of health issues? And so we're always learning from nature. A big part of that was to say, okay, we have this delivery problem in biotechnology. The delivery problem refers to the fact that larger molecules, e a peptide, a protein and oligonucleotide simply cannot be delivered effectively into cells. It can't be delivered across your gastrointestinal tract. And so can we look to nature to understand how nature in fact delivers like a protein into the cytoplasm? And so that's where the anthrax inspired me to understand what is nature's molecular machine for delivery of large enzymes into cells. And so we simply asked questions about that and we rendered anthrax toxin non-toxic of course and then ask the question, can we piggyback or hijack that delivery system now to actually get proteins into the cell? And the answer is yes, we can. And we've been doing that for the past 10 years and, and we continuously learn in those efforts. And in thinking through how do we solve these big challenges, another issue is it just takes too long to do experiments. It takes a long time to make the molecules, prepare them, and then let alone go study them in an animal or in, in tissue culture on cells and so forth. So in light of that, in the spirit of MIT, we've been asking over and over again, how do we accelerate the pace in which we actually do science? A big part of it in the chemistry department is, okay, we need to make molecules. And so we've built robots that essentially are at the stage of where you type in molecules, proteins that you would like, and you hit go on the machine and it actually makes it. And that's the basis of what we call a rapid flow or automated flow protein synthesis now. Um, we're continuously expanding that technology to the case in which it will be next time, hopefully in 10 years when I'm giving an interaction or interview, we actually make a protein while we're having the discussion.